This call may be monitored or recorded for quality assurance or training purposes. I, I hear you recruiting for U.S. Express, but let's say I don't want to drive for the U.S. Express brand. Can I drive for the Variant brand, or do I got to go through a whole new process? No, uh, because in this moment, Variant is not existing anymore. It's just U.S. Express. Oh. U.S. Express, both Variant. Oh. Now we are just U.S. Express. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a minute now. Hold on, hold on. Because I, I was looking at Variant at one point, but you, you're you telling me that Variant is not in existence anymore? No, because U.S. Express bowed to, bowed to Barium. Welcome back, drivers, to the Recruiter Call channel. And in this MTC, we're going to be looking at U.S. Express reached out to the Recruiter Call channel by way of a dark call. They're looking for drivers to come on and drive for the company. The first recruiter, well, I don't even think he was a recruiter. He was like, he was like a Gobi train. Like, he's the person that ask you the question to see if you're looking for a job yada 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 and if so he'll transfer you over to an actual recruiter that you can talk to about the company that was the first guy the second guy that came on was the one that told us about changes that the company have overwent of course they're now part of the night swift brand the variant brand is now defunct and they just running that running solely as us express they're not looking for sap drivers they're not looking for new drivers and for the drivers that do come in in order to get a incentive you have to run team they're offering about 20 22 miles per week for solo drivers i'm not sure about the team part but for solo drivers he's offering 2200 miles a week and the starting pay is 50 50-something 50 cent for less than two years, 60 cent for more than two years. Are you interested? Are you interested in US Express? Stay tuned. All right, sir. Can you hear me now? Yeah, can, can you hear me? Yeah. Sure. Okay. Okay. Uh, who, I, who are you again? What's What's up? Uh, my, my My name is Alberto, and I'm calling from U.S. Express, Robert, the trucking company. Robert, Roberto from U.S. Express. Yes. Who Who are you? You're yes. a recruiter. Uh, yes. So this is the first contact before recruitment, and we just wanted to know because we are we have a driver position available, and we wanted to know if you are interested about it. Okay. Well, tell me about the tell me about the position. What's What's going on? What you got available? Oh, wait. Before you go into that, though. I just want to make sure this is the same U.S. Express that's affiliated with Night Transportation, Swift Transportation, right? Yes, sir. It's not U.S. Express by itself no more, right? Yes, actually, yeah. It's not by it's not by itself. Okay. Okay. Go go ahead. Is uh, tell tell me what you got available. Well, sir, at this moment we're looking for drivers with at least three months of experience with the CDL Class A. So at first, may I know if do you have the experience? I, I got the experience. Okay, perfect. And have you ever failed any drug test? No, I haven't no drug test. My clearing house is good. But I do have a question no. concerning that. Do you guys help SAP drivers? Mm, not at this moment, sir. We are not accepting SAP drivers. Oh, okay, okay. All right, go ahead. Finish telling me what you got available. Well, sure. And depending on your area, sir, we have over the road and also it could be dedicated positions. So may I know if are you interested in one of those? There are miles available for me to for me to drive all 48. Well, sir, I don't have all that specific information that will be with the recruitment department. And if you would like to, I can transfer the call with them and they can provide you all the information you need. Do you have for any information about the dedicated? Well, for dedicated, you will be driving around five days and a half and you will be resting one day and a half. And for over the road, that will depend uh, That will depend on the account and you could be driving 21 or 28 days. Dedicated dollar accounts like Family Dollar, Dollar General, would it be that type of dedicated or 
Is it dedicated per other accounts other than that? Well, sir, I don't handle that specific information, and that will be with the recruitment team. And if you would like to, I have. If you would like to, I can trust the call with them. And please sure. let me know, sir. Sure. Yeah, you can. You can transfer me over. That's that's fine. Hey, good morning. This is Lou Ricardo from US Express. How can I help you? I don't know. I I had somebody to reach out to me to tell me about the driving position. He couldn't tell me all the information that was that was being questioned. He transferred me over to you guys. Are you looking for a driving job? Well, no, he reached out to me to offer me a driving job. So I, I was just questioning what you guys have available. If you are in Ohio. Yeah, I'm I'm Cleveland, Ohio. Yeah, I'm from I'm from there. So what you got available? Where are you located right now in this moment? In Ohio. Where you guys call okay, me. Okay, there we have one over the road position, OTR. Okay. That's the only thing we have right now. Okay. Well, he told me that you guys have over the road and dedicated. So you're telling me something but different? But where you are located, we just have old, over the road, OTR. Okay. So what's what what's that entails? Like, what? tell me what the job entails. Okay, the over the road is 12 days out, two days at home. It's not a trade, so you don't have to unload the trailer. It's 50, 60 percent drug and hood, and 40, 50 percent life on low. As a benefit, you are not forced to go to New York for this part or his five borough. You can decline those freight to New York. The payment is going to be depending your experience. If you have more than two years of experience, you're going to be earning 60 cents per mile. And if you have less than two years of experience, you're going to be earning 60, 56 cents per mile. Driving 20 to 100 miles per week in average. The majority of the freight go to the east part of the country, which is the I-35. Yeah, like well, I told you, it's not a train. You don't have to load the trailer. And that's a little bit about the over the road position. Let me make sure I understand this. So a person with less yeah, than sure. a person with less than what three years, two years of experience, it is 56 cent per mile. Cents per mile, sit zero. Wait, sits zero for less than two years. Yeah, for and, more than two years. Oh, more than two years. So if a driver comes yeah, in, less than two years, it what the, the fifty seats. Okay, so a driver with nine years or more is is going to get sixty cent a mile, right? Yeah, sixty cents. Per okay, mile. So if I was making more than sixty cent. Uh, would you guys match what I'm making or no? You're going to be paid for the miles driving. If you drive more miles, you're going to be earning more money. No, 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 no. That's that's not my question. My my question is, if I make more than 60 cent per mile, would you guys match what I'm making? So say, for example. No, that's okay. what we offer. Okay, okay, okay. The okay, so no, so no match. Okay. So the experience is less than and more than. Do you guys train if somebody have less than like three? In this moment, no. You uh, need to have the experience, at least uh, three months of experience in the last three years. Oh, okay, okay. So you guys is not even looking for drivers that's coming out of school now, right? Um, no, in this moment, no. We, we were before, but in this moment, the student program is closed. What about drug screening, pre-employment drug we screening? We don't have anything like that. No, no sad people. Or even if you were at the SAT program, you're dis you're disqualified immediately. Oh, okay. But no, what I'm saying is, what do you guys do for drug screening? Urine or hair follicle or both? Yeah, we do DUT drug screen, hair test, like that. Okay, so you guys do both of them, right? Yeah. You already said this is over the road, but do you guys run Canada? The the trucks. No. Do you do you guys run into Canada? Do you guys have lanes into Canada? No. It's more than all in the I thirty five that it's part of the country. That's okay. USA. Okay. How you you already mentioned about twenty what twenty two hundred miles at least a week. Yeah, that's what you're gonna be driving weekly. That's that's kinda low. But how are the how are the miles calculated? We guarantee you twenty two hundred miles. If you want to do more, you can request your supervisor that you want to do more and he he or she can give you more miles to drive. Okay, but how, how are the miles calculated? Is it zip to zip or is it practical? Yeah, but that detailed information is with your, with your supervisor. You have to define those things with him once you're hired. Okay, so you can't tell me whether 
how the miles is calculated, if it's zip to zip or practical? Uh, well, for the miles we have, just let me tell you. Okay, okay, okay. Now, now, now move. Let's let's move on. So, are the dispatch forced? Into New York, not, but the other parts, yes. How about the equipment, and what are the trucks governing that? The trucks are Cascadia Frontliners from 2021, or KW. Okay, what are they governing that? What do you need to know about the trucks? What, what's the maximum speed of the truck? 65 cents per mile. Okay, I, I don't think you probably understand what I'm saying. So you have a camera inside the truck. Is it, is it? Yeah, we do, sir. Right. So is it facing the driver and is it facing outside? No, I'm or telling just you that outside? no. Okay. So it's, it's facing outside, but inside it's not, it's not filming your face. Okay. Just the truck. Okay. Benefits and when do they start? The benefits start once you're higher and we have medical benefits, vision benefits, pet, and pet policies, rider policies. We have a light insurance. The rider policy. What's the what's the youngest I can the bring? The person must rider? be uh, over ten years. You need to fill some documents once that you're hired and that you have your truck, and you just have to notify and fill the form that you want to have a rider with you. The person must be over ten years. All right. What if I want to drive teams? Is there is there team opportunity there? In Ohio, let me verify. We have team driver. Yeah, we do. The only difference with this one is that you're going to be having some sign bonus. For the, what's, what's the sign-on bonus for the team? The sign-on bonus is a bonus of twelve. Uh, yeah, it's $1,200 that could be given in six months or $1,500 that could be given in two years. What is going to change is the amount that is going to be given and the, and the monthly amount that you're going to be receiving. Okay, so it's twelve hundred dollars paid out in two years. Hundred dollars in six months and fifteen hundred dollars in two years, depending the option that you choose. Okay, so twelve hundred dollars in the first six months and then sixteen hundred dollars. No, in- just so just one bonus, not two. Are two options. You can choose in a bonus of twelve hundred dollars, given in six months, the first six months that you are that you are working, or choosing the one from fifteen hundred dollars and and receiving it in two years. Okay, so let me okay, so if I go with the fifteen hundred dollar one, would I get paid every month or would that fifteen hundred dollars be paid after the two years? No, it's during the two years. Divided in, in those we a monthly payments. Well, actually, no, are not going to be monthly payment. Are going to be like the first month you're going to receive an amount, in the third month another, in the seventh month another, in the tenth month another, in the one year and two months another, and yeah, like that until you complete the fifteen hundred dollars. Okay, I, I do have one last question, and don't take no offense to this question, but are you talking to me here in the states, or are you talking to me uh, from a call center somewhere else? What do you need to know exactly? Tell me. I'm just curious because the accent and everything. I'm I'm just curious that once I come in and be accepted with U.S. Express and go through all the things that I need to go through, will you be in my recruiter? Are you going to be accessible here in the states, or am I going to have to call you? No, somewhere all else? the things that we're going to be doing is in uh, through the phone. You can just give me a call button. I'm going to be able to help you in the process. Everything is going to be. I mean, I'm I'm not trying yeah. to cut you off. I'm I'm sorry. I'm I'm sorry if I'm if I'm cutting you off. But I know everything is going to be over the phone. Yeah. So what I'm saying is, are you going to be accessible over the phone here in the states, or are you going to be accessible over the phone somewhere else? I'm going to be accessible over the phone with my data number. You can give me a call back to that number, and you can just wait for my next one. I might work in time. Like from Saturday to Wednesday. Okay, so if I have any issues or anything like that, I won't be able to say like go into a terminal and and speak with you face to face, right? No, face to face. No, we are not going to be talking face to face. Everything like I told you is going to be over the phone. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, okay. Any of the processes are face to face, just over the phone. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, okay. I I hear you recruiting for u.s express but let's say i don't want to drive for the u.s express brand can i drive for the variant brand or do i got to go through a whole new process no Uh, because in this moment variant is not existing anymore it's just u.s express oh express both variant oh now we are just u.s express 
Oh, whoa, 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 wait a minute now. Hold on, hold on, because I, I was looking at Variant at one point, but you, you're you telling me that Variant is not in existence anymore? No, because U.S. Express bowed to, bowed to Varium. Oh, okay, okay. So being that Variant has been phased out, is that because of the, is that because of the merger with Night Swift? Exactly, that's correct. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, all right, well, hey, listen, good stuff. Good to know. 2,200 miles. Yeah, that's something yep. to think about. But again, I appreciate the call. I appreciate the reach out. Yeah, thank you. You're very welcome, sir. U.S. Express, everybody. Wow. Well, as you uh, as you hear, Variant is, is no longer Variant. Uh, since the merger of Night Swift, the Variant brand of of us express is is no longer there so it's just us express now uh, they're not looking for sap drivers and they're not looking for new drivers so if you a driver that's coming out of school right about now at, at least at this point in time because it probably might change by the time this this episode comes out but as of right now, they're not looking for new drivers. They're not giving a sign-on bonus for solo drivers. But if you decide to go team, you have two options. One is 1200 that's paid out in six months. And then 1500 that's paid out in two years. Of course, they have cameras in the trucks and they do the hair follicles. This is, wow, this is all new. Like, I, I mean, I knew there has been some changes since I left U.S. Express. I, I started U.S. Express. I started U.S. Express as a new driver. I had, I was trained at U.S. Express. I got my experience with U.S. Express. Two years of being at U.S. Express before I left. I, I got all of that. I, I, I came in as a new driver. I started U.S. Express at like, what, about 30, 35 cent a mile. So all this change. Now they're not looking for new drivers. They definitely not helping SAP drivers. They do hair follicles. They didn't even do hair follicles when I went there. I, I did the urine. When I went there, they didn't even have cameras in the truck. And they had manuals uh, they had they had peter bills they they had volvos cascadias and kw's when i went there i i i i, tr I was with a trainer that had a manual a 10 speed two of them the volvo was a 10 speed and the cascadia was a 10 speed i i drove a nine speed when i went out to to uh, do the driving test so a lot of things change with U.S. Express. So just as long as you guys know that if you have more than two years of experience, you'll be coming in at 60 cent. And if you have less than two years of experience, it would be somewhere around in the 50s. I wasn't sure of, of what he said, but I'm going to assume 50s. My other issue that, that came up, like, when I first came in, it was a recruiter that actually came to the school from U.S. Express to tell us about what U.S. Express had to offer. A lot, a lot has changed since then. So now they're not looking for new brand new drivers. So I guess they're not sending people to to the schools and all. But but yeah, man, I mean, wow, it's. And another thing, too, another issue, I guess you might say that I might have is the recruiter himself. Like, if I need to get in contact with you, my recruiter, I back then, I was able to have access to my recruiter. I was able to see her face to face. But this guy, by the sounds of it, is somewhere in a, in a call center across the way that's recruiting for U.S. Express. Is that the reason why they cut the ambassador program? So they can go with inexpensive people that's that that's sitting down in a in a warehouse that's calling people 
to see if they're interested in coming over to us express i don't know man i mean back when variant was popping they had the ambassador program and the and the drivers was making bank they was making money man but now since variant is now default and us express is now part of night swift they outsourcing their recruitment now very very strange man that's that's strange and again the miles ain't miling right now like he said that in order to get more miles you gotta ask for it but i'm i'm looking at a couple of videos of drivers that actually drive for us express some of them is complaining about not even getting no miles some of them are complaining that when they when they sit they sit for days yeah it, is it worth going over the us express 60 cent a mile but if you're not if, if you're not getting the miles what's what's the point what's the point it is forced dispatch and not only that not only that is forced dispatch it has cameras he said that the camera is an event camera it only happens when something happens no the camera is always on sir drivers if you drive for us express or now the defunct variant brand of the company let us know in the comments below let us know if your experience if you'd like to come on the show and share your experience talk about it on the show let us know how they treat you do they treat you good do they treat you bad let us know get your suggestions in now for the next mtc review let us know who you would like for us to look at you can do that by the gmail that's lockout man podcast guest at gmail.com or you can always leave it in the comment session or if you like to support the cause, you can do that by hitting the cash app. That's dollar sign lockout men. Let us know who you like for us to look at and we'll give you a shout out for that call. Until next time, everybody. Who's next? Next, next, next.